Nursing homes and other facilities have lost 380,000 employees since the pandemic start, and a survey shows that nursing homes risk losing more than 20% of staff due to vaccine mandate. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, September 1st, 2021. To stay the know of Long Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. On Thursday, September 9th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Central Time, join Lori Porter and Lisa Sweet as they kick off a series of webinars designed to help you provide the best possible care for your residents and yourself. Registration information is posted on NACA's Facebook page. Nursing homes shed another 1,500 jobs in the month of July, bringing the total for residential care facilities to approximately 380,000 since February 2020, when the COVID-19 pandemic began, according to the latest jobs report from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Skilled nursing staff crisis, which has led some providers to turn away new admissions, continues while the healthcare sector is, as a whole has gained 38,000 jobs. A July survey by the American Healthcare Association found that 94% of all nursing homes are facing staffing shortages, with 73% saying their organization's overall workforce situation has gotten worse when compared to 2020. Industry leaders have also called on the federal government to provide additional pandemic relief funding and support that would ensure facilities have the ability to recruit and retain the necessary staff needed so they can continue providing high quality care. A new proposal introduced in the House last week would provide additional funding to states to help long-term care providers strengthen their workforce. More than half of unvaccinated nursing home staff plan to find a job where COVID-19 vaccines are not required following the issuance of a federal mandate, according to a new survey likely to reinforce providers' biggest fears. The on-shift survey of more than 2,100 long-term care employees released on Friday found just 8% of unvaccinated respondents plan on receiving the vaccine. Additionally, 39% are unsure of how the vaccine mandate will impact their employment status. The survey also revealed that 38% of employees have yet to receive the COVID-19 vaccine, while 57% have. Other industry stakeholders believe COVID vaccine mandates could ultimately lead, to, ultimately lead to a decrease in the number of employees leaving when executed correctly and if more operators and providers join in. A 180-bed Pennsylvania facility was able to limit turnover to less than 7% through a variety of vaccine uptake activities with employees. While sometimes expecting substantial losses, other facilities have reported few employees actually leave come the mandate deadlines. Jewish Home Family in New Jersey saw five of 527 workers at its nursing home and assisted living facilities quit, while at Westminster Village in Bloomington, Illinois, only two out of 250 chose not to get vaccinated, according to an Associated Press report. Leading Age President and CEO Katie Smith Sloan in late July said operators that issue a mandate with sufficient lead time combined with education answering questions about the vaccine and explaining the benefits could lead to more staff being willing to get vaccinated. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.